or as an acquaintance. I often get asked by people, are you Felix's daughter, when they recognize my last name? It is truly amazing how many lives he's touched, and I could not be more proud to hear all the kind words that everyone says. My father hails from the very small mountainside town of Chitrado in Woo! Yeah! Growing up, my dad always spoke with very fond memories of his hometown. And believe me, he talked about Chitrado a lot. And he would repeat the same stories over and over again. We would often say, Dad, enough about Chitrado already. But then we all had the opportunity to go there for the first time in 1990. Woo! And while the amenities were not exactly what we were used to, we soon realized why he spoke so highly of his hometown. Italy is truly a magical place. It's a place filled with tradition and history, good food, good wine, and wonderful people who savor every moment of life and don't hesitate to spring into song or dance the tarantella at any time of the day or night, often pulling their friends and family out of bed to do so. Yeah. My father has always made it a priority to keep that very special part of his life with us here in the United States. He keeps these traditions alive by making homemade wine and grappa and sopressata with his friends and family. I can happily report that all three of his grandchildren have had their hands on his wine press helping him. There's an Italian saying that goes, Buon cibo, buon vino, buon amici, which is definitely a mantra that my father lives by. Many of you here can attest that my father is the life of the party. With a napkin tied around his head and his pants rolled to his knees, his zest for life is contagious and he knows how to have a good time. Growing up in the Esposito household, there was always people stopping by, whether it be to pick up a bottle of homemade wine, or to drop a deer off in our driveway. <laughs> there were constant impromptu, impromptu parties, sometimes to my mother's chagrin, and lots of laughs. On a professional note, my father has served as the code enforcement official in Woodland Park for over 25 years. He's been teaching classes for over two decades now. His students take his class because they know that he is not only knowledgeable, but dynamic, and they know that his graduation parties are the best. <laughs> his fellow building inspectors can't wait every year for the golf outing because they know that Felix's hospitality cart is going to have lots of homemade Italian food and his famous limoncello. The residents of Woodland Park respect him for his professionalism, his wisdom, and they're very impressed by his ease of speaking the Spanish language. Those that know him more personally know that he is the kind of guy that will never say no. Whether it's to a glass of wine among friends, or more than one glass, or helping with a construction project, he is loyal and caring, and his friends and family are always his number one priority. What I love most about my father is that he is strong enough to build a house, yet sensitive enough to still get tears in his eyes every time he sees his three grandchildren playing together. My son always tells me, my middle name is Felice, after my grandfather, and that means happy, and me and my nonino are always happy. That name most certainly suits my father, because he is full of joy, and he is the eternal optimist. You will never, ever hear my father complain. No matter how hard he's worked, no matter how tired he was, he always had the time to help with homework or a school project. Sometimes his visions did get the best of him. There was one time the pulley system he helped me build for science class required its own set of blueprints. <laughs> but that is all part of why we love him so much. He's amazing. He's a dreamer and a believer. He has helped countless people during his lifetime. He is always there to listen, be supportive, never...